Hey guys, welcome to Bedroom Beauties. Today we want to do a video on how we syringe feed our bearded dragon. That's a question that we've been asked a good few times. Someone had just asked it recently and they also asked if we could show them how we make our slurry. The thing about slurry is up to this point I was really not real familiar with it. Now I have heard it and I have looked it up but what it seems to me is just a mixture of um, different things and really it's all based on the goal that you have for your bearded dragon's diet at the time. Most of the time it's when you know your bearded dragon's sick and won't eat. But then again there's you know cases like Nipsey where he just doesn't eat. That's not something he's really all that interested in. And I've been syringe feeding him now for you know give or take a year and a half. So it is a regular process in this house. Now this guy isn't fed by a syringe. He's a pretty strong eater and see with the vegetables. <laughs> He'll eat vegetables. That's bok choy. He loves bok choy. Is that good? But this video is going to be on Nipsey. This is our little Georgie here. He's not so little anymore. He's actually bigger than Nipsey. Good boy. <laughs> but yeah, I, I forgot where I was at. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and syringe feed Nipsey and find out how we make the process painless as possible. You know, I've said this before and I'll say it again that, you know, we do not recommend that you know, syringe feeding to be your first go-to if your bearded dragon isn't eating. Do everything possible that you can before you have to resolve to that. But we, you know, Nipsey is two and a half years old and he still doesn't eat. Actually, recently is when he's just started eating. Um, a few roaches here and there. So excited, Nipsey's been eating roaches. See that? That's my little man, so proud of him and he's eating a couple leaves out of my hand of some collard grains. But that's it. For over a year and a half, year and a half, give or take, I've been syringe feeding Nipsey. So that's kind of how he takes his food and we're about out. So I'm here to make some more. I cut up some butternut squash. It was a fresh gourd. Or they also have it pre-cut to where you can just buy it in the store and toss it in and pure, you know, steam it yourself. Um, that's what I'm gonna be doing is steaming these and then pureeing them. Um, as for the slurry, I, I'll go ahead and, you know, kind of make a slurry. Um, not only butternut squash, but I'll throw in some bok choy. And then for some protein, um, there's some Rapashi's grub pie. And you know, I've seen people throw in their slurries live bugs. Um, I'm not there. So to me, I feel like if I don't have to throw in live bugs, then that's great. And what this basically is, is black fly soldier. I always mess it up when I try to say it. Black soldier fly larva. So yeah, get their protein and different veggies mixed in. So, I mean, it's a simple process. I just take these, I throw them in here, um, steam them for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, that'll vary. Um, just keep checking the consistency that you want it throughout. And then once it's soft enough, then it goes in the blender. But that's about it. As for any way, special way to make a slurry, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mainly do these. And um, then I'm gonna have a couple little deli cups set to the side with a mixture of these bok choy and the grub pie. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna put these in here, let this cook. But it's not been boiling yet, so it'll be a minute. And this stuff is pretty easy. It's one part this and two to three parts water, hot water, boiling water. You can really just make it in the microwave, but I'm gonna boil some water right here. I'm just gonna make it a little bit. I even saved the seeds to the to the butternut squash. And then I'm just gonna fry up and eat myself. All right. Now that that's boiling, I put just just a little bit in there. I'm gonna eye it out. All right. Now that the water's added, just stir it up. Now it's still liquid right now, but once I cool it down, I'll stick it in the refrigerator. I'll probably let it cool down just a little bit before I stick it in the refrigerator. I don't want to bust the cup. As you can see, I already broke the handle off of it. So, But yeah, that'll solidify. It won't take long. Let me stick that aside. 
All right, we're finally boiling. Here, while we're waiting for that to steam, let's see if Georgie wants to eat some bok choy. Good boy. He loves that bok choy. He'll eat collard greens too, but it seems like he really, really enjoys the bok choy. I should have brought up more than that. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Ooh, that's hot. Oh yeah, definitely soft enough. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in this right here. All right, here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of water in with it. I don't need much. I don't want it too watery. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same water that I was steaming it with. Now it wasn't as much as I was really hoping for. I don't know how many it's gonna hold. And I'm doing them so small because I toss them after about three or four days. Actually, what I'm gonna do while I'm doing this, I'm going to steam the bok choy real quick. That bok choy will take no time at all. See, he likes the butternut squash the most out of all three that I'm making. Well, that's not true. Rapashi, he'll eat the crap out of that. I'm gonna put those three. That'll just all be butternut squash. I'm gonna leave this little bit in there. And once this bok choy softens up, I'm gonna stick that in there, as well as some of the grub pie. And then I'm gonna mix it all together and that'll be Nipsey's little slurry. All right, that's about done. Also the grub pie is solidified. All right, so here's what's left of the butternut squash that I haven't separated yet. Here's the steamed bok choy. Go ahead and stick that in there. Add just a little bit of water. Tiny little bit. Just let me do that real fast. All right, there's what we got now, looking yummy. And then one more ingredient, the blade that we have left, the one that's not broke is kind of weird, so try not to put too much on it all at once. But here, I'm gonna go ahead and take a big old chunk here. I guess I'll put a little more. All right. And there's our creation. Yum, yum, yum. It smells just as yummy. Go ahead and divvy it. All right, well, let's go feed Nips. All right, Nips, ready to come out and eat? Ready to show people how we feed you? Look at Nipsey's back. It's gonna shed here in a few days. His little mouth is peeling too. On the other side, it looks just the same. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> see, he knows what being on my right knee means. He knows that means he's gonna be fed. And if he's getting off like that, it probably means that he's not in the mood right now, which always makes things fun. Come here. I probably should have filled the syringe before I started this. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of liquid calcium in before I put in his food. And then once I have a little bit of calcium in there, I'm just gonna give him a little bit right now, just because I need to make sure that he gets that calcium. All right, so since it seems like he's not gonna be into it anyway, I was gonna just show like putting it on his nose and having him lap it up, but he probably won't do all that. I'm gonna show you real fast how we feed him when he's not in the mood to feed. See, at first when we started doing this, all you'd have to do is put, pull down his lip and push a little bit into his gum and he would open it up right away. Uh, he doesn't fall for that anymore. So I just make sure I got a good hold on his front because if he has, if he can do anything with his front legs, like on the ground, he'll get away right away. So just lift him up. I pull down his lip just a little bit and then I move it to the front. And there it is. Just pull it to the tip. 
you know, open his little mouth, put it in there and pull it to the tip. Now I like these little syringes because I can, it's easy to stick it right in there. Now I will say that with these little tips, he has a tendency of biting them off. I'm pretty good now at feeding him and that isn't a problem, but he'll try to bite it sometimes. I wanted to put a little bit on his nose and just have him lick it up, but I don't think he's going to. Uh-oh, you like that? Since he's willingly eating, I hate to have to continue to, to open his mouth and make him eat. So I hope you guys got it. I don't like to do that if I don't have to do it. He doesn't like it. I don't like that he doesn't like it. But with this mix or slurry or whatever you want to call it, I think he likes it. Now when you mix the rapashi in there, um, it'll solidify. You don't want to put too, too much in there because it'll solidify too much to suck up into a syringe, especially with these, uh, these smaller ones. What? Where are you going? Where are you going to, Nips? Hmm? A lot of the times when he starts moving around, I'll let him go to wherever he goes and I'll start feeding him there. And uh, he'll usually continue. Sometimes if I just keep trying to put him back on my right leg, he'll just continue to get off. So I'll, I'll let him eat where he wants to eat. But I always start him off on my right leg and he definitely knows what it means when I put him there. You want to go for another one? <laughs> That's a no. See when he does this? When he hops on the arm that I'm using to feed him? Say no, I don't want no more. He wasn't in the mood to eat to begin with, so I could tell by the way that he did eat it that he does at least like it. Alright bud, I'll leave you alone. I'll even give you a few super worms because you were halfway alright. <laughs> Knocking into the camera now. Well, let me get him before he goes under the bed. All right, guys, we want to thank you for joining us. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Hit that little bell for notifications to stay up to date with our latest videos. Also, if you haven't checked out our Instagram, go over there and follow us at Bedroom Beardies. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.